Play Kids Games presents... Bill and Teddy's Most Excellent Adventure! Wow. <laughs> I'm not so good at air guitar. I love this game because code right here, it looks like bacon almost. <laughs> it just kind of looks like little slices of bacon. Little strips of bacon arranged at an angle. Let's play Teddy's Excellent Adventure! And I'm going to play with it. Oh, well, we'll get there when we get there. It was a sunny Friday afternoon, which was most righteous. The family were going on a weekend vacation. And that's improper English, because the family is a singular, and therefore it should be conjugated as was. Rachie was looking forward to all the exciting plans she had for herself and her bear. She was going to get so wasted. Because she's like... Gigantic! I mean, really, look at the size of her compared to these people up here. She is humongous. And she's got her teddy bear. And her seatbelt doesn't make sense. It should, the strap should be going the other way for almost every vehicle in existence. All of a sudden, a deer jumped into the road. Heinous! The car swerved to avoid it. And it has, like, <laughs> concrete stone wheels, something like that. They're hauling around just giant blocks. Oh no, Teddy fell out the car window. And Rachie shrunk through three sizes that day. Because all of her confidence was in the Teddy. She couldn't stay in her big form. What do you mean he jumped out, said Mom. He'll turn up. I bet he's just gone for a picnic. You can tell that Mom and Dad don't buy the lie, dude. And somehow Rachie has once again transformed into giant size. She's like the She-Hulk. Sadness makes me huge! I like the tears, though. Almost Miyazaki-ish with the tears. Wonk! Hello, little bear. How are you today? Wazd... Er, wazd... I arrow keys to move. I'm gonna put it on um, the lowest quality setting for two reasons. One... Um, I actually like the look of it a little bit better. It kind of looks like, uh, more, more like a pencil animation and a little more like a kind of animated GIF feel. And two, there's some slowdown in this game for no good reason. I'm not running anything else on my computer, and uh, a couple times while playing, the game slowed down. Alright, Teddy, we're gonna go across the world, and I'm gonna go be kind of like a Austro New Zealand surfer guy. Butterflies, flee before the awesome might of Teddy. Those are some, like, buttons made into sunflowers? That's kind of cute. And that's the end of the game. You just walk right. Click objects to interact with them. Oh no, Teddy, you can't jump that high. There's this elevator, but you can't reach the switch. Fortunately for all of us, Teddy has sold his soul to the devil. And in exchange, he has gained powers both terrible and dark. Click! At range! Yes, with the power of his mind, Teddy can flick switches. And cause your brain to melt. Jump, Teddy, jump! Whee! More butterflies, get out of here! I hate you so much! You can't... This screen? This screen is a pointless screen. Uh, we already learned how to walk to the right. Okay, this is one of my favorite parts of the game. Uh, that's a pellipper, apparently. Click. Nope, no bites. Click again. Ah, uh, yes. This fish would be a suitable sacrifice. I like how pissed the bird gets when he sees that you have a fish. Wonk. Give me that fish. Alright, keep in mind that that bird... That littler bird, well, that was a big bird, but that bird just picked me up and flew with me across the, uh, the little gorge there. And a fish. This is an, actually an important plot point later. Butterflies, I hate you so much. Yeah, th see, I like the, the crappier animation. It actually makes these guys look a little bit better, in my opinion, than that. You notice the instant slowdown compared to when it's crappy? That seems like it's just not properly optimized. So I'm blaming the developer. Once again, Teddy must make use of his demonic powers from the depths. 
block. To cause his statue to disappear. But Teddy is no longer happy, for he does require the other animals of the forest to worship his idol. Bow before my graven image, demands Teddy. Walkies! He's so happy to be in the forest. Do not question me! <laughs> Wonk. Like Dagon, rising from the depths of the ocean. Like Grand Cthulhu, asleep in the far-off city of Raleigh. So Teddy wanders through the wilderness in search of the little girl. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. The first time I did this, I thought I messed up something, but apparently you do have to ring this bell twice in order to get that guy to come up. I had clicked on the bell like as soon as the screen switched over because my mouse just happened to be in the right spot and he didn't come up. But who knows? Hmm. I wonder what this could be. Bees! My god, run! Run! No! Teddy got hurt. Teddy got hurt. Oh, they're right there. Run, Teddy, run! Apparently, jumping in the water doesn't save you from the bees. Normally, that's what they tell you to do. Run and find water. And stay the waves. Run, Teddy, run! Save me, butterflies! Your dark powers are at my command! Ah! Hey, that's... Now, that's speciesist. That you're gonna hunt after the bear, but leave the butterflies alone. There's a flash game that's kind of like this. You're a ball, and you roll back and forth. Um, and then there's like these platforms and mazes that come up, and you have to hurry and roll back and forth and find the, the holes to slip down and continue towards the bottom of the screen, because if you go off the top of the screen, uh, that's the end of the game. I don't think that happens here with Teddy, because I, I have gone off the top of the screen like that. Luckily, there was this giant mushroom here. Burn, fire, burn at my command. Click. Click. I love my statues. Whoosh. Ooh, platform. Can't reach the platform. Wait for the next platform. Whoosh. I do have mental powers. I can make manifest anything you desire. In exchange for your soul, your wishes will come true. So speaks Teddy. Whee! Run, Teddy, run! Because if you stand still, you fall off the edge of this platform. The world cannot push Teddy. Teddy must go only where he wishes. The fires of hell, they shall lick at you. Now, see, it's not good enough to have a statue. Teddy demands a giant banner with his engraved image. Well, it wouldn't technically be engraved if it's a banner. But, you know. Wink, 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 wink. Wait, there you go. Just click a lot and you will get this giant wonderful totem. Worship me, speaks the teddy. The eyes. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I can't get no privacy. You know what? I'm going to try this right here. I never tried it before. I'm going to try and launch myself with it. Oh, it, it halts your jump. Bad programming, man. Bad programming. You find your physics engine lacking. This is never going to be a triple A title with that kind of work ethic. The hoary hosts of Haggath. That would be a terrible fall. Wait. Oh, I'm stuck. I cannot see. There is a spider at large. Keep your eyes peeled. Shall harvest the venomous glands behind its mandible echo. Oh, there we go. Come on, you know you want to. Yes, you do come back. With the powers of my mind, granted by our Dark Lord. Ah! I can make manifest anything. I believe I've already brought this point up. Ah, a fitting sacrifice for a hungry Teddy. <laughs> Nope, actually you got a free stupid owl. Whoop! He fell through the ground. You have escaped hell this time, owl. Next time. Wait a minute, I am looking for a little girl. Little girl is crying from the house nearby. Meet me at the top of the cliff up ahead and I will show you. 
Why didn't you just fly me to the top of the cliff? You shall burn in hell for this bird. Your torment will know no end. Release of death you will pray. Alright, this machine baffled me for a long time because they have this switch, this switch, and then I could not see this switch. But now, I shall use this cookie button gear looking thing smash the spider which blocks my progress. Which unfortunately we didn't get to see because you don't walk fast enough in this game. Double tap to jump. Not jump. Double tap to dash. What is a diff? I don't want to find a diff. I'm looking for a cliff. Maybe there's a cliff by the diff. Ooh, awesome platforming. Uh, uh, platform. Platform. Jump like you mean it. Telepathy. Not telepathy. Telekinesis. I think telekinesis almost sounds like an ancient Greek name. Like Telemachus, telekinesis. 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 Again. Yeah, so you can't launch yourself with a jump. That would be the best thing ever. We meet again, bird. Hey, now you can fly with me on your back? Nope, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. I'm gonna lead you right into it. Teddy didn't get hurt. That owl got dead. We must fly over Satan's bowels if we wish to make it home. We arrive. Then your torment will be made manifest. Whee! You can only fly up and down. And you automatically fall, so you have to kind of work the controls a little bit. What is the in-game reason that there are these giant, humongous, giant balls of thorns in the middle of the forest? La, 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 la. Everything's all happy now because I killed the owl on the way down. You'll notice that he didn't appear. Yep, dropped him like a rock. What lies over here? Forest farmhouse. Apparently the girl was hired to put the sides up. I'm very upset that they were driving. I fell out only all the way over there. She could have walked and found it. There it was, the family vacation house. Burn it. Burn it to the ground. Oh, the little girl is sad or meditating or on an astral projection. Teddy had found his girl. Teddy. Now, don't think that she's got her mouth open. This is actually just her lip. Can you see it? Can you unsee it? Oh, look. She had her bear all along. Our daughter is a mythomaniac. She lies for no reason. Click. Teddy's most excellent adventure. It's actually... I mean, there's nothing wrong with the game other than everything I complained about. <laughs> no, it's a very simple little game. Um, it was actually kind of fun to play. The most annoying thing was just that one uh, gear puzzle with the spider, which that's kind of my fault. Go ahead and play it. I like the music. It's very soothing. This is something you could play, you know, right before you go to bed, try and fall asleep. Until next time. Burn. Burn them all up. Bye-bye.